And we got good news on Chris Brown. Yes. Duh. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Brown is a free man after 108 days in jail. And of course, he went to his Twitter page to talk about it. He said, humble and blessed. Then he followed that with, back to the music and the fans, and thank you, God. Now, he was supposed to serve a whole year in jail, but they let him go early because of good behavior. Do y'all honestly think Chris Brown has finally learned his lesson and he's going to stay out of trouble now? No. He should have just served his time. Well, he has one more shot to go back to jail. He has, like, a hearing coming up in D.C. over that assault case that happened a few months back. So he still actually could end up in jail, but for right now, Chris Brown's a free man. He should not have any contact with Rihanna. He ain't that smart. Chris Brown, if you listen to me, man, leave Rihanna alone because Drake is in love with Rihanna. So once she got Drake and he fell in love with her, she ditched. She don't want Drake anymore. He's too emotional. Who, That's Drake? Yeah, Drake. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, but I thought y'all so, want a guy to be in love. We do. Women like a sweet man, but we don't want somebody who is just like Pepe Le Pew, like, mm, you know, all over you all the time. That's too much. He probably irons her clothes for her. Yeah. That no, that's sweet, actually. <laughs> <laughs> now, the balance of life, one person goes out, another person goes in. Rick, your homie, Ray J, in trouble. What happened? Uh, basically, he was hanging out at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in L.A., right? So he allegedly grabbed some chick's butt, and then when the cops came, he started acting real belligerent. He spit on the police and kicked the cop car window. Oh, so he grabbed her butt. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's listen, because I, I don't I don't believe this stand-up portion. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Stand-up portion. Why did I know you were going to try to reenact this? This is the only story you want to reenact when no, Ray I'm, J ripped her butt. No, Portia, stand-up, I just want you to stand up because I, I, I want you to prove what Ray J did. Portia, stand-up. Let me tell you what, though. Gary know exactly how it happened. Gary, stand up and let Ricky turn them hands. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, turn them hands your way. And just grip it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just cut the lower cheek. <laughs> right. Just look, look. Well, Ricky, speaking of ass since Portia didn't let you demonstrate hers, your girl, Miss Serena Williams, is back in the news. Now, there was a couple getting married on the beach. Serena Williams, they was frolicking down the beach in this beautiful leopard leotard, um, one-piece bathing suit, and she crashed the people wedding. What, 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 what do you mean? Mad about it. What am I mad about? It? If you see me getting mad, and you know you half naked, you know how y'all eyes wander. That man wandered eyes. Looked at her butt. I'm, I'm sure. sure. Well, he deserved to see it. He about to be married and locked down for the rest of his life to be able to get a look at Serena's ass right before you walk down the aisle. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Sure. Now, Ricky wanted to see your ass for a demonstration. You wouldn't even get up. I will show it to him if he gets married. How about that? <laughs> That's a weird trade-off. <laughs> Breaking news. We're being told you ain't subscribed yet. Our sources say you need a little nudge. So go ahead. Go on. Subscribe.